Okay, one more um, example problem from chapter uh, 2E. And it says, suppose that the in center and the circum center of triangle ABC are the same point. Show the triangle must be equilateral. This is a good one to uh, investigate in GeoGebra. Um, so again, I'm going to select all here. Well, no, I'm not. I'm actually just going to hide some things. Um, let's get rid of... Uh, angle bisectors um, uh, let's see this so there's the in circle drawn um, let's go ahead and get the circumcircle drawn remember that the circumcircle is drawn by taking the perpendicular bisectors of sides so I'll do a perpendicular bisector of this side and of this side and that will give me a new point I'll try to sort of drag it away from the in center there we go. So I'll put a point on that. Oops. So let's see if I can get this. Nope. There it goes. And now I should be able to put a circle with that center and this radius, and there would be the circumcircle. Oops. And what we're looking at is, is what, what, what has to be true about the triangle of the circumcircle and the circumcenter. Sorry, the circumcenter and the incenter are the same. Let me get rid of the circle, not that one, the circle, and uh, the segments. Just so that we don't have so many things on board here. I don't like the distances either. Let's get rid of the distances. Okay, so I guess um, point I is the in-center and point J, which we'll rename to be C. Be the circumcenter. And the big question is, is, well, when do those things coincide? And it sure looks like equilateral triangle to me. I don't know about you. Um, but I'm looking at where these two centers coincide. Of course, I could draw in this. It's kind of interesting to just see what happens there. In circle and circumcircle seem to have the same center when sides of the triangle are dangerously close to being equal. So that's what we're trying to prove. Go ahead and get it. Um, so let's go ahead and draw up a triangle. I'll go ahead and draw it close to being equilateral. Or, yeah, equilateral. And I'll say um, this is A, this is B, and this is C. Um, and let's let this, um, let's let this point be both I and, um, um, actually he uses O for in-center where I is equal to the, uh, in-center and O is equal to the circum-center. And what we want to prove, want to show is that uh, AB is equal to AC is equal to BC. So that's the givens. Um, so here's the sketch of the proof. Um, um, 
Let's see. OB is going to have to be equal to OA. And that's by the fact that um, the circumcenter is constructed by uh, being on the perpendicular bisector of side AB. Okay. Um, so what does that give us? So angles marked, uh, I'll say one, are congruent. So what that gives us is this angle and this angle congruent, right? And that's by, oh, Clontasinorum. The bridge of asses. Okay, so we have those two angles equal. Um, So that's sort of the first piece. And the second piece is that, um, but AI bisects angle A, so angle A is equal to two I'm just going to write it out. So angle A is equal in measure to two times angle one, right? So in other words, that guy's bisected. Um, say three similarly um, bi bisects b so angle b is two times one as well so two times one as well right there um, so what have we shown? We've shown angle A is equal to angle B. Thus, again by Pons Asinorum. We get, let's see if, if this whole angle is equal to this whole angle then that side has to be equal to that side. So it looks like AC is equal to BC. And then I think to finish it off, we can just say by a similar argument, BC is equal to, uh, let's see, BC is equal to a, B. So triangle A, B, C is equilateral. And that's the end of that proof. Uh, it's, again, a sketch, but I guess the idea is that if both of these are, uh, if the point at the center is both in-center and circumcenter, we have a lot to work with. It's on the point that's both bisects uh, exterior angles and is equidistant from each of the vertices. So um, we can twice apply Pons Asinorum to get that two angles are the same, A and B, and that implies that two sides are the same and just repeat the argument for the other side. Okay, before I go, I wanted to say that there were some other really in interesting facts in Isaac's text about in circles. Um, that I thought was worth at least mentioning, Lemon 2.27, which says there's exactly one way to choose points U, V, and W on sides B, C, A, C, and A, B. So that 
each of these lengths um, are the same. AV equal AW, BU equal BW, and CU equal CV. Only points that satisfy these equations are the points where the sides of the triangle are tangent to the incircle. Furthermore, the distance AV, BW, and CU are equal to S minus A, S minus B, S minus C, respectively, in the usual notation. I thought I would just at least show you what this means in pictures. Um, so if we draw our triangle up, and we sort of try to find the middle of the triangle, the in center. Um, and let's see, A, trying to remember exactly how he labels him. I want to look at this again. So this one, if you think of this like the in center, this one we would call W. This one we're gonna call V. And this one we're gonna call U. Um, he says that there's exactly one way to choose points U, V, and W on these sides so that AV equal AW. So let's kind of do that with a highlighter. AV equal AW. CU equals CV, and BW equals BU. So it turns out that, that these points of tangency for the incircle um, give you these points on the sides, W, V, and U, such that we get exactly equality on, of, of these lengths. And... Um, Furthermore, he says the distance A, V, B, W, and C, U are equal to, let's just write it in, this one is equal to um, S minus A, oops, um, B, W is going to be S minus B, this one, and this one is going to be S minus C. So kind of a fascinating um, situation. Uh, you can look at the proof in your text, but I can imagine it's fairly straightforward because it seems like we have a lot to work with um, in terms of angles and sides when we consider this to be I, the in center. So kind of an interesting situation. And then one thing I just, um, couldn't uh, help but uh, put in here was this theorem by Euler and he says that if distance if D is equal to OI the distance from the circumcenter to the in center of an arbitrary triangle um, then that distance squared is equal to R times the quantity R minus 2R where R and big R and little r are the circumradius and, and the in radius of the given triangle so so Euler incredibly characterizes the distance between the two centers uh, of the circles that are um, inside and outside of the triangle and, um, and shows this. And, and one of the things that's kind of interesting to, to note on this um, that I thought was kind of um, nice in the text was if we just concentrate on this factor, you know, the in circles radius always has to be, um, or sorry, yeah, the, the the distance between this, this thing on the left has to always be positive. And so what that means is that the thing on the right, r minus 2r, has to be greater than zero, which means that r is always greater than, um, well, it could be equal to, r is always greater than 2r. And it turns out that it will be um, r is equal to uh, 2r when the triangle is equilateral. So what does that mean? It just means that the uh, circumcircle's radius is always at least twice the incircle's radius, but it's exactly equal to twice the incircle's radius when the triangle's equilateral. Really difficult proof, um, as you can imagine, but I thought it was an interesting fact.
kind of an obvious place to go. You've got these two circles, how do their radii interact? And of course it's Euler that finds that solution. I see I have another um, slide in here that um, is actually not um, in this section. So you can disregard that slide. Uh, and this is the end of our, uh, our lecture for this chapter. And I'll look forward to seeing you on Monday when I get back. I hope that uh, this has been informative. Uh, talk to you soon, bye.